Hey everyone, welcome back. So we are on coping skill category number four, and that is move. So move can actually be um, categorized, subcategorized even further into gross motor, which are our large muscle groups and fine motor, which are our small muscle groups. And so the activities in this category um, we, we need to make sure we're thinking about both of those um, different types of muscle groups when we're thinking through strategies. So this one's one of the easier ones because it's any movement activity. Um, so it could be running, walking, skipping, doing jumping jacks, push-ups, um, a punching bag. A lot of schools have started implementing punching bags into um, you know, their counselor's office or their um, social worker, whoever their behavior coach is. So it may be punching the punching bag. Um, so all of those kind of gross motor things that we think about all fall into this category. But then we also have to think about the fine motor skills. Um, things like squeezing putty or a stress ball. Um, so those that's a great fine motor activity. Um, other things are using all these fidget tools, right, that we have available to us now, or sensory tools is what I usually refer to them as. Um, so you can see there's overlap between this category and the sensory category, right, because a lot of these sensory tools um, are are for our tactile kind of kids or adults, not just kids. Um, but any of those tools that are great for their little hands. Um, your toes, flexing and pointing your toes is another one that um, really kind of gets into those fine motor skills of our feet. So this one's a little bit easier because we can all come up with so many different movement activities. Um, and you know, this category kind of has the added bonus of um, what we know about exercise science, right? That when we exercise and we move our bodies, then we have a lot of really great chemicals and endorphins being released in our bodies that help improve our mood and our overall focus and our memory, our concentration. Um, so not only are all of these movement, movement activities great coping skills to help us when we're feeling these big emotions, but usually they have all of these added benefits as well. Um, this tends to be the category that I identify with the, the best and that I find works best for me. And I know that's not true of a lot of people. Um, but if this doesn't really speak to you, I would encourage you to try it. Um, or if we have kids that you have kids that you work with that are not really the, the movers and the shakers of the group, still try this one because of all of those added benefits that it has, those endorphins being released when we raise our heart rate a little bit in a good way. Um, give some of these activities a try and you may find, or these your kids may find that they actually like it and it's, it's helpful or beneficial um, more so than they thought. So that is move. So I hope that you join me next time because we will be covering our fifth and final coping skill category. Um, and we will be wrapping up this series. So I hope that you have learned a lot over these last few videos. And I hope that you'll join me next time for our very last one. Until next time, have a great day.